Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing you just every build you're going to need for 10.2.6. It just dropped yesterday and I'm going to go over the changes and then every build you need for PvP and PvE for Mistweaver. Starting with the changes, they were all talent changes and we've got new talents. So starting off with the new talents, we got the Peer into Peace. So 5% of your overhealing done onto targets with Soothing Mist is spread to three nearby injured allies, which is an okay amount of healing. But this last one is interesting. So Soothing Mist now follows a target of your enveloping mist or vivify and its channel times increased by four seconds so i don't know how this impacts pve but in pvp it feels pretty good the extended soothing mist is nice so i'll show you what that means so i'm just going to channel soothing mist to myself and vivify and then i'm going to swap targets i'm not going to press soothing mist i'm going to press like enveloping mist and it's the soothing mist swaps to that target and then i can heal so it's pretty interesting there is a weird interaction though i kind of wish that it worked with cloud of focus but right now when you swap the soothing mist target it doesn't keep your cloud of focus stacks i'm really 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 hoping that is a bug because this is exactly what cast and mystery has needed for a long time in pvp so hopefully it's a bug if not it's still a pretty decent talent that way you know you get your full stacks of cloud of focus and then you still have time to like use you know during soothing mist you can use those empowered heals uh, which is really really nice so overall that's a really good talent the next one is the Fist Weaving Talent, Danes of Chiji. This is what Windwalkers have currently. Your spells and abilities have a chance to make your next Spinning Crane Kick deal an additional 300% damage, which is really good. I, I'm not going to lie. This is this is good, especially on big pulls. You get that nice proc chance. It does a ton of damage. So I like this a lot. You're already using Spinning Crane Kick a lot anyway, so increasing the damage is fantastic. And then they buffed Resplendent Mist, so... It's still two talent points, but instead of Gust of Mist having a 30% chance to do, what is it? It does 75% to 150% now. Before, I think it was 50 slash 100% or something like that. Anyway, it, it got a big buff. It got like an insane buff. I crit like a 300k Gust of Mist the other day. So, yes, Resplendent Mist. Again, mostly geared to a caster Mist Weaver with Mastery. Really good talent. Uh, we've been using it. So it's just got even better. And then there was a slight nerf, which was to Peaceful Mending. So, before, it was two two talent points and increased your healing on targets with Soothing Mist. Um from your enveloping mist and renewing mist by 25% slash 50% more healing. And then they just made it one point and they made it 40% more healing. So there is a 10% nerf from Peaceful Mending, which I think is okay just because we have the extended duration of, sooth of Soothing Mist now. But yeah, it's a, it's a little weird. It, it, it's just a slight nerf, but we do get an extra point now, which is kind of nice. It looks like we can get be a lot more flexible down here, which I am loving because I feel like we had a lot of two-point talents. But those are the changes, nothing else. I am uh, pretty pretty happy with these changes. This is for Arena, 3v3, and Shuffle. So this is just Verse Mastery as well. Left-hand side, nothing too crazy. It's pretty much just the standard build that you'll be using. There's not many flex points that you can move around um, from what I am looking at here. Yeah, there's really not much. You could, if you want to do more damage, you could drop Grace the Crane and like, I don't know, try to put him in like fast feet or something. And then on the right-hand side, everything's pretty standard. I don't go into Healing Elixir that often because I really like the extra healing from Vivify. But if you don't want that or if you think t a team is going to hit you, I would go into Healing Elixirs. I just kind of swap between these two just because I like I like having them. Uh, the, the extra healing from Revival. And then down here with the new talents, there's, there's a few things I've tested. I really like this build. I've also tried dropping Peer into Peace and the Tea of Serenity and put it to Shailun's Gift. It's actually decent. I just, I really wish I could get to Legacy of Wisdom, but I can't. I don't think there's another to another point that I could drop. I've also tried two Secret Infusions, but again, I feel like we're just one point short. We're like so close. We're so close to like getting like an extra, an extra, you know, talent. But I don't know. Secret Infusion's good, but you already have so much mastery. So I think this is the best build for now. I like it. If you're trying out a new build, let me know. But I, I do do keep in mind, I kind of do like Shailun's Gift. If I can ever figure out, like maybe if I drop Magic Proliferation and go here, I'd probably go Shailun's Gift with all these other healing. And that'd be a lot of AoE healing. For Fist Weaving and PvP, these are my talents. On the left-hand side, again, not much else really changes. What you can do is if you really want the big life cocoon, you can drop Strength of Spirit and go into Statue. And then you can move a talent over here and go into Comic Coalescence for the Big Life Cocoon. I, f I feel like I'm not good at that. I wish I was. I'm not. So I don't really uh, spec into that. But again, that's a really good option to have. But yeah, you just go for damage on the left-hand side. You get to all your defensives. Try to be as tanky as you can. 
on the right hand side you really don't change too much from you know team to team the one thing you want to know is you only put one point to rapid diffusion because that's really all you need and then you get the option of having both the healing elixirs and the uplifted spirits for the extra revival healing come down here you don't need the t of plenty if you want thunder the focus thunder the reason i like t of plenty is because i think expel harm is really really insane so if I get, yeah, if someone's hitting me and I can use a Thunder Focus to expel harm and then also still have a Rising Sun Kick, it's like two two really strong uh, Rising Sun Kicks and Instant Velping Mist, I think it's so good. I think it's so good. So I really like Tia Plenty. It's not everyone's uh, cup of tea, but I like it a lot. Uh, and then you go for Shailen's Gift. Shailen's Gift is, it can be a little bit awkward, but you have to use it in the right way. I normally, what I try to do is I just try to port you know, I try to put my port down. If they're hitting me, I'll pour it. Or if my teammate's like, you know, in line of me, and I'll go for a Shailen's gift here. And then that's normally how you use it. You never want to just like, you know, do it right in the middle of like the team because they can just CC and interrupt you and then you fall really far behind. But yeah, and then you have your Jade Fire Stomp. You do not use the new talent for for the, for the PvP. You don't use Spin and Cranking PvP. For Mythic Plus Fist Weaving, which is what I've predominantly done in Mythic Plus, you could also cast, and I'll have a build for that, but predominantly your Fist Weaving. This is the build I've been running. I like this build a lot. It touches on pretty much everything that you need for Mist Weaver. The one thing you do change, though, is you do drop Secret... I drop Secret Infusion, and I go into Dance of Chigi for PvE Fist Weaving. The extra damage chance from their Spinning Crane Kick is just absurd. Like, 300% more damage is crazy good healing. Uh, on the left-hand side, again, nothing changes. You're just going for damage, getting your defensives, going all the way down to bounce back for that extra defensive. Get your save them all. Get your damage from Fast Feet and Ferocity of Xuan. On the right-hand side, you're getting all your healing, so you're going to get your Revival. You're going to go for the extra healing with Uplifted Spirits. Get your Zen Pulse, which is really good in, in uh, Mythic Plus. Shailun's Gift. And then, yeah, on the left-hand side, you just go for the Fist Weaving Talents. And then you do go for Dance of Chigi. I prefer that. If you like Secret Infusion, feel free to play Secret Infusion. It's completely up to you. Um, I do like that a lot. Yeah, that is pretty much it. If you have any questions about Mythic Plus or anything like that, please let me know. But the extra damage from Sydney Crane Kick is really good. Next is RBGs, and I have admittedly not done too many RBGs this season. So if you've done RBGs, feel free to let me know if I'm wrong with this. I'm more than happy to change the talent tree. On the left-hand side, going down the left-hand side and just going down the statue, that's pretty much your main goal. Getting your defensives, and you're just doing a ton of healing on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side in the Miss Weaver tree, you're kind of doing a little bit of a weird thing where you're just going for, like, haste talents where you're getting your peaceful mending and your tear of mourning and then you're getting your invokers the light secret infusion and i like mending proliferation i think there's some people that use unison i like mending proliferation a lot because if you're swapping targets a lot with your healing and they have that enveloping mist buff it's it's so much healing and this is what i've used for rbgs when i when i when i do heal them finally i think raiding has probably the most unique talents out of every build that i've talked about so on the left hand side you do want to go for damage and also get your defensives. You go down all the way to get the generous pour for the reduced era damage from AOE spells. Get your statue. Get your instant healing from Vivify. And that's pretty much what you do on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, you're kind of just like a Frankenstein of like every build I've talked about. So you do go for like teaching the monastery. You're basically fist weaving while you're casting it's really unique i kind of like it i love it i actually love it you're going to get strong life cocoon you're going to get your increased healing from revival and then on the in the bottom of the tree it's just it's just everything so first of all you're going to go dancing mist you're going to get the chance that you're doing mist has a chance to spread to a new target you're going to get shaylin's gift you're going to get upwelling which makes it so your essence font right here gets charged it gets stacks every time you don't use it and then it increases the duration increases the hot healing which is really nice you're going to get rising mist to extend hots like enveloping mist essence font and renewing mist and then these three talents right here are just going to make it stronger so secret infusion gives you stat bonus and focus delight is going to make it so you get a ton of haste when you use your celestial so when you use you lawn you're going to use that and then you're going to use uh unison for the extra healing from soothing man so this is very unique talent build if you have any questions about it let me know i admittedly don't raid that much this expansion would like to uh next expansion because i think i'm not so burned out anymore after raiding but 
yeah, if uh, you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions about that. And that is it. That is every build for 10.2.6 that you are going to need. If you have any questions at all, if you have any build, please feel free to talk to me about it or put it in the description or put it in the comments or anything at all, please. In the description are all the builds, so feel free to take them. Uh, and that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.